Hi, I'm John Groves and this is Memorial Park in the center of El Paso. One of the hot spots that we always bird, especially during migration. And during fall migration, which we're in right now on this 25th day of August, um, you can see any number of birds from all kinds of flycatchers, uh, including some rare flycatchers lately, um, lots of warblers. My favorite being the Townsend's warbler, but we also had some other rare warblers. We had a red-faced warbler from Arizona show up here. So you never know what's going to be here. It's a little like Forrest Gump, you know. Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Um, and birding is cool. Birding can be social. Birding can be completely solitary. Uh, but we urge you to get in contact with our local Audubon chapter. Um, we are the El Paso Trans Pecos Audubon Society and find out from other birders where the birds are, how to get started in birding, etc. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vicki Milney. I'm one of the bird tour guides um, here at Waco Tanks. We're out at uh, Waco Tanks uh, State Park uh, doing a bird tour today. Uh, it's fall migration, so some of the birds that we can see in migration are some orioles, tanagers. Um, at Waco Tanks, there's always a great chance of seeing all of our desert wrens, uh, rock wrens and canyon wrens and cactus wrens. Um, occasional sparrows. We've had a lot of lark sparrows and lark buntings. Uh, and some birds of prey. So owls and eagles, vultures um, are all uh, fairly regular sights out here out at Waco Tanks. Check out the El Paso Trans Pecos Audubon uh, website for more information on when the bird tours at Waco Tanks are. Hi, my name is Star Posada and I am a member of the Trans Pecos Audubon Society. Today I am at Hawk Alley. Hawk Alley consists of Stan Roberts Road between Martin Luther King and US 54 here in the Northeast. Along this road you're able to see hawks such as red toe hawks, Swainson's hawks, Harris hawks. Occasionally there have been reports of golden eagles seen here. You're either going to see them perched up on the light poles or soaring above in the, in the sky. Besides birds of prey, you can also see common birds such as roadrunner, quail, loggerhead, shrike, um, and sparrows. Again, hope you join our Trans Pecos Audubon Society. You can find us on our Facebook page as well as online. Thank you. Today we are at Rio Bosque Wetlands Park. This is a great place to see birds at any time of the year. It's especially great during waterfowl season where we see anything from gadwells, American widgeon, cinnamon teals, mallards. We also get to see great blue herons, white-faced ibis. Lots of great waterfowl birds do show up here during winter. We have some awesome birds here during summer that you can see, such as the painted buntings, blue grosbeaks, yellow-breasted chats. Winter also means that we get a lot of birds of prey. We get northern harriers, Harris hawks, sharpshin hawks, but we also have our permanent residents here, which would be quail, roadrunners. We get a lot of crows and chihuahua ravens that just um, roost here in the winter afternoons. Great place overall to see birds at any time of the year. Hi, I'm Kevin Floyd. I'm with the El Paso Audubon Society, and I'm here today at Keystone Heritage Park. Um, this is another great birding spot. This is here on the west side. One of the things that makes this place so excellent is the variety of habitats that we have. This is a great spot to see Gamble's quail. You can see Crystal Thrasher, Curve-billed Thrasher. Here are the wetlands. Right now the water level is pretty low. You can see shorebirds migrating through. You can also see ducks as they start to return from their northern wintering grounds. If you're interested in joining our Audubon Society, please check out our Facebook page and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.